All right, just a quick update. Um, today is the 16th of December, 2018. Um, it feels like my stomach issues have been better, almost normal for around since last Thursday. Today it's Sunday. So um, managing it with a, a new medication, it's basically a, a tiny small little pill of a, you know some kind of painkiller or something, but an extremely small dose, and that's causing um, constipation, which in my case is a good thing. So that means that uh, I'm going normal, and it feels like I'm turning the corner but it's only been less than a week um, but that's just a feeling I get um, I felt like this before and only to have been taken two steps back after I feel great um, so it's feeling kind of good and feeling kind of great so I'm riding the high Taking a deep breath, enjoying the blessings as much as I can, and being thankful for everything, um, staying on top of it, um, getting exercise, walking around more, being more active. It's kind of weird that it's winter, and I expect it to be more cold and, and wanting to stay under the blankets, but no, I, I'm running around more than I believe. Uh, spring break is upon us. We got three weeks off. Um, we and I say we, my son and my wife. Um, I'm always at home working from home right now. So hopefully in the next three weeks, I'm able to start working from the office. I'm going to attempt it. But um, when you got to go to the bathroom and it doesn't smell that good, you don't want to, you know, blow up the restroom at work or stink wise <sighs> so eyesight is the only other issue um, managing it with eye drops I'm gonna see my eye doctor soon um, I would say that I'm right around 70% 65 to 70% of what a normal eyesight would be which is a lot better than 40% which I was so there's some improvement there um, it's just how it goes um, another thing that we found out that's helping my stomach is uh, my immune system is low so they give me monthly infusions now they're giving me monthly infusions with an added um, vitamin or protein or nutrient that my body needs to help the stomach lining and that's been two months that I've gotten that and I believe that's also helping my stomach issues so um, only time will tell but like I said it feels like I'm turning the corner I'm enjoying um, every day as much as I can and working hard trying to do my part um, like today, I'm waking up here in Santa Cruz. I always liked the ocean growing up in the desert. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is not about the view. There's just plenty of beautiful views. Um, waking up near the ocean, there's a hotel room that we stayed at. Uh, a friend of ours hooked us up got a good discount and a friend of ours hooked us up and we got to go to see a concert last night here in Santa Cruz and that's like around 40 minutes away growing up in the desert so I appreciate the ocean a lot more than people who seen it all their lives um, because it's uh, something different it's being at the edge of I guess you know the edge of the land and the start of the ocean or the edge of the ocean and the start of the land depending on how you look at it I guess enjoying seeing my son grow up has been a blessing seeing my other sons growing up and struggling and sticking through it and ending up on landing on their feet um, 
hopefully that that keeps happening they keep um getting back up whenever they do fail and hopefully i had something to do with training them uh or showing them that not giving up is 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 very hard but um you will get rewarded um so i just wish them that they can learn it that anything is achievable as long as you have help um you are wise enough to accept it and it's a big world and we need a a lot of of uh people looking out for us and supporting us so i just wish that everybody could feel the support and the love that i feel and i wish that for them uh wish that for you um pain uh is tolerable um the human is durable we can overcome more than um we know until we are told we need to jump over the fire we don't know that that's a possibility because we try to avoid it but when the fire is getting close and we got to get there in order to escape you're you got to keep you know believing that it's possible and and that's the thing that i was talking to somebody while waiting in line that they were asking me how if there's a certain antidote or a certain cure or a certain way of, of that worked for me because it, you know I lasted eight years going on eight years a little bit more I'm going through so much and I've been so resilient but I'm not the only one and they didn't go through what I did but they went through what they went through um, their own body and they had their own cancer type and they had to go through their own treatment and radiation they ate their own food they drank their own water and most importantly they believed it um, they were talking about how people went all natural and went super juicing and and their cancer was miraculously cured without any kind of medicine and I strongly believe that that is possible because the person believed that was going to be their cure so they their belief you know helped them um, other people believe that the modern medicine is their cure and that helps them other people put their faith in God and that helps them get through it and that's how they get through it so you just got to find your own way to get through it and we're unique individuals and I I don't know I just didn't believe I was going to get through it but I didn't believe that I couldn't get through it I, I didn't know I was just <sighs> enjoying the blessings and being thankful and then that's what got me through it you know giving thanks and, and smiling and spreading the good vibes so if that works for you as long as you know that's what I would say believe in what you believe in and if you believe in it 100% it becomes true so if you believe you're going to cure yourself you just might cure yourself the right way your way I said cure yourself not kill yourself so make sure I wanted to make sure that and also, um, it's, it's a lot of toxicity in the world and a lot of uh, stress that we add to ourselves and, and negative thoughts. So, you know, give your um, significant others, give your family a thank you and open the door for them and be nice even if it's just a smile when you're suffering and if they see you smiling they're gonna smile back and that's gonna help you so that's it we're getting close to 10 minutes ah let's see that's it i just want to thank uh stick figure music